Hi guys, welcome again. In this video, I will give a demo on API Gateway method request response transformation using mapping templates. We will see how we can transform the request and response payload of our API. So without any further delay, let us see the demo. Let me open my AWS console. So in the last video, we created a uh, REST API this REST API and we saw uh, how we can validate our request using model schema. You can uh, watch that video if you have not already watched. I will provide a link here. So let us now uh, see how we can uh, transform our request and response payloads using uh, mapping templates in our REST API. So this is our API resource insert user and post method. So let us first understand uh, what is our requirement. So uh, uh, let me open this uh, Postman uh, tool. So in our API, uh, in the body, we are passing this payload, request payload, where we are passing customer ID, name, email ID, and mobile number. So if we uh, invoke this uh, request, so what result we get, let us see. So we are getting this response from our backend Lambda. Status code 200 message, this is returned by backend Lambda and in the body, we are just returning the same, same thing that we sent in the input. So let us see our uh, backend Lambda function. What is the name of the backend function? My API backend. My API backend. So here uh, you can see we are just returning the event that we got uh, from the uh, in the input payload, and we have just uh, returned a hard coded uh, value here. So let us now suppose our requirement is that our backend lambda function uh, expects uh, this input this request payload in a certain in a different format so for example uh, this uh, the backend lambda expects uh, this customer id to be simply id and uh, instead of email id uh, we need to just pass email and instead of a mobile number we need to pass contact simply contact so we can transform make this transformation at the API gateway level at from the client we will be passing this payload and at the API gateway uh, mapping template we will transform this payload in the format which is expected by the backend lambda function so let us see how we can transform the request payload so to transform the request payload go to the method settings integration request edit and go to mapping templates add mapping template here in the content type we will pass application json and in the template body we need to pass a template that template will be of this format so this format is uh, known as a vtl template velocity template long language the language that we are using here this dollar input this language is known as velocity template language you can learn more about this uh, here in the documentation this AWS documentation here they have given all the details what this this means so in the input payload we got the customer ID and we uh, we are transforming it to ID and in place of email underscore id the backend lambda expects only email and in place of mobile underscore lambda number the backend uh, lambda function expects it to be contact so let us save this and after saving deploy the api now if we uh, invoke our uh, api again
it takes some time to get deployed so now you can see in the response from our backend lambda function we got uh, these fields updated fields in place of customer id we got uh, id and in place of email underscore id we got email and mobile underscore number we got here this is string contact so this is this is the transformed uh, keys that we have uh, sent to the backend lambda function and from the backend lambda we are uh, just returning as it is so in this way this is an example of how we can transform uh, our request before passing to the backend lambda function this is a simple uh, example you can uh, do the transformations according to your requirement you can have some complex transformations as well now let us uh, understand how we can uh, transform the response so suppose suppose in our uh, example the backend lambda function is doing some processing on this uh, payload and returning some uh, result according to the processing so let us go to this backend lambda suppose uh, the event that we got in the request we need to do some, do some processing in this event so let me create a new function uh, we, we will check if this user exists or not suppose we have a database and we will check if this user exists or not if event id equals to equals to 10 suppose uh, user with id 10 exists so we will return 200 and uh, processed else we will return some error code say 101 and uh, processing failed and here we will say return code processing status equal to check if user exists and uh, we will pass this in the return uh, object processing status equal to processing status equal to return code equal to processing status and uh, status in the status code we will pass the return code so let us now deploy it and uh, test it. So now uh, here we got the response processing status processed. Now what we have seen is we are uh, we have returned the response from lambda but we need uh, some processing in this response at the api gateway level processing by processing i mean that uh, to the end customer we want uh, these field uh, to be uh, the same that the customer has passed like in place of id we want to show him customer id and in place of email we want to say show him email underscore id similarly in place of contact we want to show him mobile underscore number and in place of uh, this uh, processing status we want to show it like with with a space processing space status so let us uh, see how we can transform this response in the mapping template so go to api gateway resources and integration response edit mapping templates add mapping template application json and here in the template body uh, i have this template already written let us copy paste
so here what we are doing set uh, input root equals to input dot path so this input root variable represents uh, the root object of the json that we got uh, from the backend lambda function and in this root object we are checking if the status code is 200 we are setting a new variable with uh, value equals to success else if a status code is not 200 we are setting the variables value as fail and uh, we are uh, transforming our response object like this status would be set to this status variable message will be input root dot message and here uh, in the processing status we are passing this input root dot body dot processing status so from the body that we got from the lambda response we are getting all the values so let us save this and deploy so now if we invoke our API again okay in the status we got success and uh, in processing status we got a blank let us see what is the error event processing status and in the mapping template let us see what we have done okay it is small as save and deploy now let us test again yeah now we got processing status is processed so if we pass uh, the customer id any other customer id say 11 then we should get a different result yeah now we got the result status fail and processing status processing failed so this status fail this we got from our uh, transformation that we did in the integration response here based on the return status code we got from the backend lambda function we transformed our response and uh, returned it to the client as per our requirement so in this way we uh, we saw in this demo that uh, how we can transform the input request and response of our rest api using uh, these mapping templates so this was uh, all about in this video if you like the video please uh, leave your uh, comments and feedback and uh, if you have not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing thank you